boy boys welcome welcome first of all let me start this off by prefacing that this is all pure speculation it's a it's a little discussion i had between myself and one of the rugby challenge four modders and uh, i know he said he didn't, he didn't want credits but i did get this information from him we did have a discussion and uh, i just wanted to give the boy a little shout out colas i believe that's how you say it i forgot to ask him but he's the one that mods the game he's got some pretty awesome mods you gotta head to the rugby forum to check them out it'll be linked in the description Alright, so why do we think Big Ant Studios is making a rugby game? First of all, if you didn't know Big Ant Studios, the creators behind the Rugby League Live series and the more recent Cricket 19 and AO Tennis video games, they were acquired by a French developer or a French publisher, Nacon, earlier this year in a $54.9 million deal. Now, before we continue, let's just clap it up for Big Ant right there. That in itself is a big W and I genuinely love that for Big Ant Studios. So in the press release, Nikon states that they intend to become the world's leading player for rugby, tennis and cricket video games, which pretty much makes sense of the whole acquisition of Big Ant Studios. They are, in my opinion, the leading players for both cricket and tennis video games and rugby league at least so yeah the acquisition made sense and i personally can't wait to see what big ant studios can do with a significantly bigger budget rugby league fans i know how passionate you are as am i but we are talking about rugby union so i'll advise you not to get your hopes up but yeah now the question is what rugby game will big ant studios make well there's a few options number one enter the rugby video game campaign if you didn't know what that was it was essentially a video petition for a triple a developed video game started by a couple of youtubers as for the campaign itself, he did say that it was a success and that they do have a developer and well, this YouTuber is apparently now a part of Big Ant Studios. So yeah, there's that. That seems uh, pretty possible. And that info was found by Colossus. I had no idea as so I'm not <laughs> on LinkedIn, but another option, Big Ant could join or take over the development of the next rugby video game currently being developed by EKO Software. Their most recent rugby game, Rugby 20, Although fun and an upgrade from its predecessors, it is still a long, long way away from being what many would consider a quote-unquote good rugby game for this era. I see this as a possibility because Big Ant Studios recently took over a Nacon tennis game, Tennis World Tour 2, that released late last year and many were saying it had similarities to their own game AO Tennis 2. Which brings me to my last theory, a video game that will release alongside the 2023 Rugby World Cup developed solely by Big Ant Studios. Much like how they made a tennis video game to go alongside the Australian Open, I definitely think it's possible. The biggest issue though, I guess would be the licensing for every team competing in the Rugby World Cup. I guess licensing in general for every rugby video game since Rugby 08 has been a, a nightmare pretty much. One thing Big Ant Studios do very well though I must say, and they do pride themselves on this, is customization and having a customization suite as deep as the depths of any ocean on planet earth. Like name an ocean, the Atlantic? Nah bruh, the fan hub's deeper. Now that's just me being a little dramatic, but they do have the best customization in their video games in my opinion. I mean, we're talking player creators, team creators, referee creators, and a stadium builder in their most recent games, or well, their most recent rugby league game, which you all know I'm a massive fan of. I mean, I'm still playing after four years, I guess I'm a stand now. But yeah, whatever licenses they don't have in this rugby game that they may make, It'll be remedied by having a customization suite with a bit of depth. So yeah, that's all I've got. That's uh, what we discussed. Again, thanks to old mate Colossus or Colus. Look, I gotta ask him how to say his name, eh? But yeah, cheers for bringing it to my attention. We had a decent yarn about possibilities and just speculating in general about a big anti-rugby union game. I think if and when they do make a rugby game, it'll be the best rugby game since Rugby 08. Yes, I am willing to put myself on that ledge. I am willing to die on that hill. I know we haven't seen nothing. We haven't even heard anything about Rugby Union associated with Big Ant other than the acquisition announcement, but I am backing them if it comes out. I just think their record and their progression through their work speaks for itself. And a bigger budget? Oof. Take my money right now. If it happens, boys, it'll be a banger. If it isn't, come back and roast me, and I will gladly cop it on the chin. 
So what do you think? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this particular topic in the comment section down below and let's get some discussions going. Lastly, a belated congratulations to Big Ant Studios for making big moves and shout out to the gang, the hashtag Odd Squad. If you made it this far into the video, be sure to run it straight at that like button for more rugby related content or more content in general. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you, you. Uh, don't kill my vibe. Don't kill no Later. Love, no love for me. No love for me. Do we get no love? I ain't show no love. I don't go for free. Uh -huh.